the final race of my amateur career, it'd be awesome to win. Uh, that's the whole goal, and I think we're in a good spot right now. I'm feeling really good on my bike, so um, that's what we're gonna try and do. Loretta Lands is the biggest amateur national. We all know that. We all put in the work. We all want the same goal. We all want to win. This is your race. Own it start to finish, bud. I mean, I've talked to a lot of teams, and nobody's really given me a chance. So to be able to go and beat the guys that they picked over me is, I mean, you always want to do that. Prove the people wrong that doubt you. There's a handful of guys that they're here for the Horizon Award. They want to get the Horizon Award and show everybody that they are the next big rider going into the pro ranks. At the end of this week, hopefully I can walk away with maybe the Horizon Award, that trophy that I've been looking at for the past, shoot, 11 years. The Horizon Award has been in the back of my mind for uh, the whole week, but I uh, just focused on getting moto wins and trying to get this championship. big things of this rider that's going to be the recipient of this award tonight. The Troy Lee Designs Red Bull KTM team picked up 16-year-old Sean Cantrell as their next prodigy heading into the pro ranks. Cantrell has a lot to prove this week, and his priority is getting moto wins over his main rivals. I'm ready to do, uh, just trying to get the number one plate, hopefully two at the end of this week. I'm just ready to go. I'm like a monkey in a cage right now. I just want to get out there. There's a lot of good kids in this. Cantrell and a few of those guys, they'll be up there. And they're on, you know, they're on on start, so it's gonna be, it'll be tough. Remember, one thing at a time. Focus on the start and the rest after. This is your race. Own it start to finish, bud. 100% focus, don't do anything else. First moto is always the most important. Racers are able to set the tone of the week by quickly asserting the dominance. And safe to say, confidence from a win goes a long way with the three moto format. Just outside of the top 10, you've got Sean Cantrell and Challen Tennant. Those are very, very big names in this class, and they've got some work to do. Sean Cantrell certainly not starting the week off like he wanted. While he's fighting through the pack, Sexton, Taft, and McAdoo are running away at the front. Chase Sexton wins the first moto of the Open Pro Sport here at Loretta Lynn. We'll give you the gold medal right here. Well done, Open Pro Sport Moto 1 winner is Chase Sexton. Yeah, I came out great, and then I just got sucked up by the 450s I'm riding 250, so uh, that's a little disadvantage on the start, but everywhere else. Yeah, it was a strong ride, bud. When you see him not living up to what he wants to achieve, it's so hard. You know they can do it, you know they can win, and they're not doing it. It's just so much more difficult to just find the right way to make them feel better. When they're true competitors, I don't even think it works. You know, they have to get over it in their own time, and you're just trying to do the best you can as a mom. I've been coming here since I was six years old, so uh, it means a lot to be a part of this race and uh, best 40 riders in your class. So uh, it's a good good thing to be a part of, and uh, I'm just glad I'm here. After winning yesterday, Geico Honda's Chase Sexton looks to keep the ball rolling today. You freaking almost had it 450s from there, so four gates over, it's not gonna be a big change. This one should be, this is even now, he's not against the 450, so he shouldn't have a problem getting the start on this one. With amazing track conditions today, Sean Cantrell, Bradley Taft, and the rest of the A-Class riders are focused on keeping yesterday's winner Chase Sexton at bay. This is their chance at retaliation and showing that they have the speed to win as well. All right, all right. Four start for Sexton means he's going to have to move to the pack to catch the top group. It looks like Taft is already running away with this one with Cantrell just a few seconds behind. Go, 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 go. Time is of the essence here. You've got to make passes quickly. Check it, check it. Don't let him get you. 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 Go. Go, 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 go. And Chase Sexton is all over Sean Cantrell, running second and third here. Sexton is doing everything he can to make his way past the TLD KTM rider. Oh, no. He's down. He's down. Shit. Shit. You can tell by the look on his face, he's certainly not happy about that mistake. 
He knows that finish will have a deep impact on his championship contention come the third and final moto in the 250A. Bradley does want to win here. I think a title to him would mean everything. It's a shame that it always comes down to being at Loretta's is where your season is made or won or broke. We've raced all season long. You know, we've won 14 championships this year. And, you know, and when you get here, this is it. You know, you have to do what you can do and do your best. Loretta Lens is the biggest amateur race there is. I mean, we basically trained for this all year, and you better make those motos count, because there's other races, and it's awesome to win those other races, but the teams really look at this race. My expectations are to win. I mean, I know what I can do. I want to win everything. You ready? You ready to do this? Even after winning the 450A class here last year in 2015, Bradley Taft is pretty well the only top A class rider here without any factory support. You know he wants to win. He wants to beat these factory kids. He wants to prove that he deserves a ride for his professional career that starts in one week. Bradley Taft goes in the early lead here, and it looks like he may be making up some ground on Chase Sexton. And a moto win here would set Taft up nicely with a 1-1 heading into the third moto. Sexton, he's making up a second lap. He's going to catch Taft. And Sexton makes the pass. Looks like these guys will be tied heading into the third and final moto of the 250A class. What happened? He's on uh, his leg. First, her, first thing he broke his thumb. What? Thumb? She broke his thumb. Right now? Yeah. What happened? She said he needed it. It says not broke, but it, it was still hurting. They're gonna do an X-ray later. You just gotta stay consistent. Like no matter what you do, you just you fight through it. And even if it's muddy, if it's dry, the best score wins. So that's what it comes down to.